Yo, if you feel comfortable with one step, two step, and three step, now we're gonna start with the four, five, and six. You're gonna enjoy it because I have a lot of variation. So let's do it together. Peace. Okay, so now we show you uh, one uh, footwork that I like is the four step. The four step is not totally basic because I think for me the basic is more like one step, so coffee grinder, three step, and six step. But four step is nice because we can change the form. We can also uh, work on this variation that I showed you before, like try to travel, and it's kind of dynamic footwork. So there is different basic form of four step. I will show you two different. So the first one, I will start on this starting position and I'm gonna put my right legs on front like this. Okay, so this is the first step, the second step, okay? And now uh, the tricky part is now. I have to open my legs, my right one over there and I have to just push on my left hand and try to put my hips a little bit up. Not that much, but like this. Okay, so as you see, I go a little bit up. I open on this way. So this is three. And four, I have to let my left legs go on behind, okay? Inside, like this. And go back to the starting position. Show you again. So one, two, the tricky part, three. And then inside four. And what it's better, I think, it's when you're gonna put this leg on the floor, try to jump and put this one in the air, like this, to make it light, okay? So, one, two, three, four. Once again, little bit faster. So, one, two, three, four. This is the basic four step. But we can change it. Still do four step on the floor. But for this one, I'm gonna use twice my uh, right leg and twice my left. It's gonna be one, two with the right, three, four with the left. For that, I'm gonna start like this and I'm gonna open. As you see, I open, I put my hips a little bit high and from this position I'm gonna jump, okay? One, again, one. Then the tricky part is now, one, I have to go on two. Still with these legs, I have to sit on my right leg, okay? Once again, so one and I sit two. Then, as you see, this leg is still in the air. I have to put it on the floor on this way. So I'm gonna change, okay, I switch to my left uh, hand. And now, three, and you have to kick a little bit on your back to put these legs on this way, like this, okay? And it's four. Once again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is also four step. And there is a lot actually, because you can also do it with this one first and then the other one. You can mix all. The most important is just to do four step on the floor. Yes, so. Now I will show you some variations. Some are easy, some are, some are a little bit difficult. We're gonna start with the easiest one. I'm gonna cross my legs on my four step, inside the four step. So, <laughs> basically, I'm gonna start with the other one that I showed you before. So this one, one, two, and I'm gonna cross my leg on the three, okay? So, Instead of doing this, it's gonna be the same actually, but I'm gonna cross my leg. Three, 
Okay, so three, and then I can do the same here. I can cross. You can do it or not. It depends about which form you want to do, but me, I'm gonna cross four. Okay, so as you see, I do like one, two, cross, cross. So I cross twice. Once again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, you can cross also when you go on the front like this. So instead of doing this, you can cross straight like one, two, then three, four. Okay, so once again, instead of cross on your back, you can cross on your front like this one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you feel comfortable with that, you can cross on all the steps. Like this. One, two, three, I stay in this position. Four, I stay in this position. One, two, three, and four. And you finish the four step. So, you can cross like this, and you can cross also behind, you know, like under your legs, like this. <laughs> Inside, I want to say, like one, two, so instead of that, like this, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So not so difficult, not so hard. You just have to think about crossing your legs, but instead of doing this like this, under your leg, okay? Yes. Now I will show you another one, a four step variation that I like. So for this one, I'll try to go a little bit up. So basically it's the same. So one, two, but instead of kick on this way, I'm gonna put this leg, okay, above, the, above this one. So I have to kick inside if you want, like this. Okay, again. You can imagine that you want to go up, like this, I want to go up, okay, so. One, two, three, and then I'm gonna push on this leg and try to travel a little bit on this direction. So I have to jump on this leg and go on this way. Think about your hand. I have to put my right on the floor and my left um, uh, feet, foot on this way, like this. Okay, once again. So one, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. So as you see, I travel a little bit with the fourth step. You can do it and you can take more space with this variation. Another one on this one, I'm gonna use still the same concept. That's why I told you the sweep is really important. The one step is really important if you prefer. So I'm gonna use this sweep, then three, then four. So This is also a good variation about the four step. Make it a little bit light and it's nice. So I have one also to show you. It's kind of four step that it's good to have because we're gonna play with the level also. So for this one, instead of going up as the travel four step that I showed you before, I will show you one and I'm gonna use again this uh, freeze, okay? This turtle freeze, pilot freeze, whatever. So. I'm gonna start with this two step, one, two, then I use once again the sweep. As you see, sweep is really important in breaking. 
So I will use the sweep and for this time, I'm gonna try to put my hand like this flat. Sometimes I'm able to put like this, but it depends if you feel that you have power, you can try, but take care about your fingers. So I'm gonna go on this position and try to pass on my freeze. Then I have to think about my right and put my right first on the floor. So it's gonna be one, then two, and then I go back to this position, okay? So here it's one, two, and three, four, okay? It's four step variation because I use four step, but the most important here is not to think about just the form, get the basic form on four step. I just think more about how many steps I do on the floor. But at the end of the program, the most important for you is to understand that step is just a concept, okay? You just have to think about all the form that you have, all the moves that you can mix together to create your own footwork. And then if it's one, two, three, four steps, it doesn't matter actually. The most important is to know from which variation of which basic you start and where you want to go. So on this one, I use the concept on four step and I use the concept of freezes and I try to mix four. So one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna see together the five step. Five step is kind of six step. They are pretty much the same. And most of the b-boys that I know, sometimes when, when they want to go super fast with the six step, actually they, they do a five step. There is two different forms that I know, and then it doesn't matter, as I told you before, you can mix all. So the first that I know is more kind of Begin of three step and the end I mix with six step. So it's one, two, and I finish with the six step form. Three, four, five. Once again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, five. So it's a good one because it's a mix between the three step, like dynamic of the three step, and the um, the end of the six step so like more circle more fluent footwork so once again one two but you can also do the same and change like start with the six step and finish with dynamic basic footwork like three step so for this one, it's gonna be like this. One, two, three. And I'm gonna use what we see together with the four step. So, this, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. kind of light also light footwork so this is too basic about the five step so let's go for the six step six step is one of the most important footwork in breaking is basic move that you have to practice a lot I still practice my six step um, there is different form actually about the six step there is the basic one that you know and even with the basic one, it depends about your body. You can make it like kind of dynamic and or kind of really ex extended footwork. So it depends. Me, because about my body, about my flexibility is more kind of dynamic six step. So 
I'm gonna start on this position, then I'm gonna take off this end from the floor and I'm gonna put my right uh, foot on the floor. On this position, as you see, I try to open, okay? I'm not like this, I'm not in the flat uh, foot, I try to make it on the side like this. I have to feel, you have to feel the bounce. Then it's kind of knee drop. So this, I'm gonna put these legs over there and I have to sit on my le uh, left uh, leg. Now I will open. I still, I'm still on my right hand and I'm gonna open. There is different way to open the legs. You can go like super far or try to make it as I told you like dynamic. It depends about your flexibility. Me, I just open a little bit and then go back to the zero position that we saw together before. From the zero position, from this position, I'm gonna cross this leg and I'm gonna use now my left hand. So I have to cross and as you see, I use the hook. That's why all the first basic that we saw together are really important. You have to be and feel comfortable on it first and then we can start to work on your six day. So now I'm gonna push on my hand. I'm gonna try to put my right leg further, like on my back. I'm gonna use this one as a support and I open. Then I go back to the starting position. I'm gonna put my right hand on the floor and open my legs and still with this bounce. So it's one, two, and there is a direct connection between all the moves, four, five, six. One, two, I open, two, zero position. I have to change, so when you change, think about your arm. You can do it like this, it can help, like go to the hook on four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the basic form of six step. You have to practice many times this one to feel super comfortable with it with this. So, I will show you now some variation that I like with the six step. There is one that I call it the, the sweep six step or extended six step variation. So I will basically let my legs go. This is something that we already see uh, so together before and I will use also this concept on the six step and it make it the six step a little bit longer and a little bit bigger. So, I use this move that we already See this one, okay? So, one, then two, three, and instead of cross now my legs on four, instead of doing the hook now, I'm gonna go on this way, I'm gonna follow my left leg as much as possible. So I try really to free, to, to find, to find, sorry, the balance to stay in this position. So maybe it's better for you to work on this position first and just try to do this, okay? Make sure that the floor is a little bit sleepy, like this is better, okay? This. Once again, from the sixth step. One, two, three, then four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wait, I wait here. extend the six step. I like this variation. 
and you can try to make it on the music, it's gonna be super good. It's kind of slow-mo effect, so do to practice this one. Now, we can change also the concept of the six step and try to make kind of jumping six step. I want to say something like this. So, I'm gonna start in the same position, but instead of doing this, I will try to jump. As I told you, it's gonna be more like this with jump, okay? So it's one, two, once again, one, two. As you see, instead of doing this, this kind of knee drop, I put my legs, you know, and I play with my hips. So it's one, two, okay? One, two, three, I jump, okay? Then I'm gonna go on the opposite way and I jump also, like four, these legs, five and six. It's a dynamic six step. I jump once again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. This is from the six step, but I decided to change the form. I use just the six step concept, so I have to make six step. But actually, when you see it, it's not a six step form anymore. And this is something that you have to understand. I already told you, but it's very important for me. This is the concept of this uh, footwork uh, step explorer. You have to understand that. When you, are, when you feel comfortable with all the basic, don't hesitate to change and to create. So, you can create for the basic move with the step, one step, two step, three step, four step, five step, six step. You use the concept of step, like this is something that kind of handicap. I have to put six step on my move, but I want to change the form. And it starts to be totally different you can still, me, this is what I do, I can still call it the six step even if the form is different. It's just a matter of what you want to create. But the most important is to understand that step is something that didn't exist before. Before, footwork was just footwork. What? Footwork, sorry. Like legs works. It's just a matter of what you do with your legs, with your arms. So, step is just um, something that kind of uh, excuses, you know, to make it and to understand the move. But you have to go further than that and try to add some concepts. So, as you see, it's still kind of six step, but I change. We can also do something with the six step and try to change the level. So for this one, I'm gonna start really down and then I'm gonna go up. So as I told you before, we can change the form and the level. And for this one, I use this concept of six step, but I change a little bit the form and I try to make it like up. It's a good uh, to have it like this. You can make the transition with the footwork and um, top rock or maybe power move or whatever you want, but it's good to have this kind of different level. So I will start like this one. And now instead, of doing this, I'm gonna do this that we already see together. But the difference now is that when I'm well, when I'm gonna do this move, I have to go up. I have to put my body like this. Okay, so it's from this position one, then two, and I will open on three. Like okay, as you see, I'm up now, and from this position now, I'm gonna use the go down. One basic go down that it's super nice to have in breaking super easy. I'm gonna put my left leg on the floor and I'm gonna cross the left 
uh, leg also. So it's easy, it's left, left, okay? Like this. And then I open this to go back on this position. So one, two, up, go down. Here, four, five, six. One, two, three is up, four, five, six. Like this. It's a good combination to make it between the uh, down level, up level. So this is the six step concept that we work together. So there is a different one. There is one with the jump, one with, you know, I try to take space, try to add some effect inside. There is this one that we can also go up and down. And there is a lot. You can play with all of this and create your own six-step footwork variation.